Hi everyone, and welcome to a reading for Taurus. So, my beautiful Taurus, I just did a quick shuffle with my beautiful deck Neo Tarot. You can check that out on my unboxing and review videos, which I've got a link for. I'll link it in the description. So, what popped out? Six of Wands straight up on the top, and it's quite a little group here. You're feeling victorious in some way, or you desperately feel like you need to. You uh, have got a fabulous idea and you think it's going to actually take you above and beyond the people around you. You may not want to be sharing that too much with the people around you at the moment. I think there's a little bit of dissent in the ranks. People like to have the people around them operating at the same level that they are. And if you are perceived to be rising above the status quo, um, you may have um, conflict in your environment. But that aside, that's none of your business. I think what actually you're doing is getting on top of all of that and saying, no, this is it. I'm going for it, right? Okay, back in 19, I did a video, which is extremely popular, talking about embracing this huge transformation. I think it's taken five years to go from one cycle to the next, hey? There's been like a nine or five years ago, we made a massive just choice to do something about this. Uh, it was also around the time that Uranus came into our sign. We're about over halfway here and we're going, no, okay, I've got the reins of this, all right? It's taken a long time to actually decide exactly what you want to do. I think it's been a trial and error thing. You've given a little bit here, you've given a little bit there. You've trialed here, you've trialed there. But I think now's the time that the huge transformation and victory is coming about. It took maybe a, a bit of time to figure out which cup had the wrong thing in it for you. Very frustrating state of affairs, I know. I know, because I've been through it too. I'm a Taurus, a Taurus sun and a lot of Taurus placements. So, yes, uh, we came up with a great idea back in, <laughs> way back in 19. And I think we went, yeah, that's okay, but we're going to try everything else first before we figure out what we really like. And I think it's come full circle back to what we were doing in 19. So that video, Embrace Huge Transformation, it's now time now we've tested everything else to go for what we were going for back then because if you re-watch that video, it's saying that it's it's going to lead to incredible things. But I'm just going to get some more clarification for you here. Any clarification on the Six of Wands, please? In my head, I'm spirits giving me a symbol of a... Street light, uh, sorry, um, traffic lights. And turning from amber to green. And it seems to like the lights have been stuck in that flashing amber stage <laughs> for a while. That's why I see it was like stuck. Like I just had a problem with my internet and it was on in the wrong port. And so it wasn't quite working properly. And I think that was the issue here. Something wasn't quite working properly. But you know that this idea you've got is a major money maker, and gee, it makes you feel good, really inspires you. And okay, yeah, money, all the rest of it. People say us, Taurus, are all money focused. No, we love the stability that money brings us. Stability. We know where our good food's coming. We know we've got a comfortable bed to sleep in, our clothes suit us, everything. We, that's what Taurus wants. Okay. Uh huh. Wow. Yes. So grab the reins. You've figured out what it is. You need to go for it now. Okay. Time to get the passion and inspiration. Remember what it feels like to be really driven. Okay. very driven because it's going to lead to your own personal success. I think you've been singing the praises of other people for too long and you've realised now is the time to sing your own success. 
It does take holding and squirreling away of money and making sure you know where your cents are, as in the dollars and cents, so the dollars look after themselves. Really important to keep a real, get down to the baseline of where your money is going and make sure that the money that you are spending is focused on improving your future, okay? And uh, also an indication that a little bit put aside is going to be really beneficial. Right, let's get into it. Let's flesh this out properly, hey? Great, thank you. This idea to get back on your horse and basically take the reins of your life again because you want to get yourself sorted out and you want to be on top of your game has come from you basically having to deal with a lot of stuff that really just didn't work out how you thought it was going to. Probably following intuition or guidance or other people's intuition and guidance. It didn't quite work out. Five years ago, the energy was to take the reins of our own life and do the thing for us. In true Taurian style, I think what we've actually ended up doing is doing the thing for everybody else. <laughs> Oops, it tells you my arms are flying, things are flying. That's how it felt. You start to fling yourself around and deal with this, that, everybody, darn else. And it knocked you off your game. The energy was given to us to transform ourselves, to show everybody how it's done, not to show everybody a else how it's done at our expense so we've got it again we've got our mojo back we're realizing that forget them sorry love you all but i'm now getting back to my game plan i'm getting back on top of my game i'm actually now focusing on what brings me stability what brings me happiness when i do that everything else is going to fall into place absolutely fall into place and i think it's come from a, what i call taurus's eternal hermitage we've been doing the tough yards for what seems like close to as i said half a decade at least but darn well our whole lives We've taken the light of reason within and now it's the time for us to get back out there and show people how it's done. Teach them by example. To get our power back, our mojo back, to get our finances, baseline finances organised is going to bring baseline happiness. With baseline happiness and baseline finances, Taurus isn't a happy place. We know that. That's when you get your mojo. So I see this as a major transformational stage once again. Full circle, wheel of fortune, we've come back to where we were. But infinitely wiser than we were when we were back there. There was a sense of naivety. I know in myself, but others around me, that things were just going to turn out fabulous. And that was five years ago, 19. Only a couple of years later, the world changed for, for good. And we had to endure all of that with this fabulous idea and maybe it's, not working so well and everybody else taking our energy to come back to going right okay that was a fun ride i had a hell of a lot of energy back then and it's just been drawn from me great i now have learnt to put up my boundaries to choose who and what i will have in my life and stop doing the people pleasing thing or the beast of burden 
to others, our behaviour has changed quite dramatically. We're not the same people that we were five years ago. To some, this is not great. Actually, to most, it's not great. There are probably very few people celebrating you for who you are now, except for yourself. And if you're not celebrating yourself, get on that horse and celebrate yourself, okay? But also, very important to keep your ideas to yourself. Once again, we've got a second chance here to make a choice of, well, are we going to give all this incredible energy of creation and self-empowerment and financial freedom? Are we going to give it away again? I say no. <laughs> so we're going to go first start with our love yourself cards because I think I'm not the only one out there that's saying, okay, thank you. That was fun. I'm getting back to me. Came out as a novel, but I'll just quickly read. I accept all of myself. I let go of the past with ease. I say yes to opportunity and abundance. We talk about a novel, it's basically by chapter, isn't it? By accepting all of yourself, to let go of the past with ease, to say yes to an opportunity of abundance. Um, to affirm to yourself that inside you is a friendly place to live. Inside your body, inside your mind, inside your spirit. You now follow your inner wisdom, not external. Inner wisdom, which brings you to a place of truth and peace. <coughs> Excuse me. Which helps you build up your inner power, basically. So this is actually just... Summarising what I've already said brings back your inner power to let you live and work in comfort, ease and beauty. That's all Taurus wants. Not all Taurus wants, but general, you know, to be, live and work in comfort, ease and beauty, to have your life an example of comfort, ease, and beauty. There's so much discomfort out there. There's so much hardness and ugliness. I think there's enough. I think by we're going to show the world what it is to live and work in comfort, ease, and beauty. Life doesn't have to be so darn tough. And I think that's another thing that we've learnt for ourselves is we make our own lives tough, don't we, sometimes? And we allow others to make our lives tough. So I'm just getting here one of these beautiful deck, uh, Unlock Your Love Blocks. <clears throat> and we'll see what might be blocking us at this time to, to move from any blockages in our abundance into what is rightfully ours. <laughs> love. Love is unconditional. Yes. Love is unconditional, but love of self and spirit. Spiritual love is unconditional. Okay. Feel the love radiating down around you. It wants to fill your heart again. Don't look for other people or other external circumstances to fill your own heart. This is the block to remember our own divinity. And we are perfect exactly as we are. And that's a big one, isn't it? Exactly as we are. And rejoice in that. And go, right, okay, I am loved, I am lovable, and I'm going to love my darn self and have a good time doing it. Oops, 
they're just flying. <laughs> oh, yes, all right. Because this is basically saying it's incredibly important to be really grateful for what you have achieved. Your physical body, the air in your lungs, the sun on your back. Appreciate that all is in within you, sorry. Appreciate that you are incredibly beautiful, that you are loved. But also appreciate everything around you. The comfortable bed, that beautiful cup of tea or coffee. A moment. Gratitude and appreciation and self-love is the sticking point. But hey, I think in this energy at the moment, in our season, we're starting to really exhibit this. Reassess what is important to you right now. And you can see this beautiful girl here. She has like the, the car and the riches and the house and all of this around her. All right. I think the most important thing is love. Unconditional love for yourself for what you do, for your environment, for the pure, pure fact of just being alive. What a blessing. So, yes, it's time to allow the energy of the universe, spirit, to cleanse your heart. All right, so where are we heading into? This needs to be fleshed out. Okay, so yes, here we go again. Let spirit wash away the dust and debris of the last five years. See, popping out in groups like a novel. So yeah, but taking the reins... And also realising that we've been extremely resilient. To transmute your situation, to end past hurts and things that might have upset you, to, to start to be grateful for your life. Start to be grateful for not just yourself, but the things around you. The more we focus on what we don't like, the more we get what we don't like. The more we focus on what we do like, that beautiful cup of tea in the morning, that first sip, it's normally having to pull itself right back down to simple things like that. Because if we start to get up on our head, it's going gonna, it's gonna to confuse us. We're not going to be able to see where we're going again. We're going to get drawn into what I, you know, the matrix of doubts, fears. So less in your head, more in your heart. By doing that, you're actually going to be able to start to really manifest good. Because when our mind runs away from us, when we start to think of all the things that have gone wrong, the past hurts and all the rest of it, we just don't see anymore. It's like a cloudiness that comes over us. And we're constant manifestors. We're creators constantly. Whatever we're thinking, we're manifesting and so constant rumination about things of the past and negativity is just going to keep on bringing it back straight to your door. So we're going to show the world how to actually change it up, to actually go, no, stop mind. I've heard this before. Out, no more. And then think of something in that moment if you can. That's good. Hmm? That's the secret. <laughs> because that brings hap absolute incredible happiness. To choose joy instead of pain, sorrow and past hurts in that moment. It takes a long time to retrain. Very easy to focus on the things that have hurt us. Now's the time to focus on the things that make us bloody happy. This is going to bring us back our inspiration. Yeah. All right. So we're just going to do 
a little bit more clarification here. It's been a massive awakening in the world. Like the, one of the main topics at the moment, you know, people are talking about narcissism. You know, narcissism's everywhere. Well, it truly is once you actually look out there. And it is a very ne negative thing. So make sure that when you are seeking clarification about this situation or other situations, you are coming from an absolute highest place that you can come from. That you're not going down the rabbit hole of, as I said, the matrix ones and zeros, conspiracy theories, darkness. We need to be lifting our vibe high. Lift it up above that darkness that's trying to prevail at the moment. It has no power over you once you actually see it. It's like they used to say about the devil. The devil has no power over you once you see him. The devil's in all of us. So make sure you don't go down the rabbit hole. It's now time we need this very important for us to be lifting our vibe right now. The world needs it. All right, any more guidance? Any more guidance, please? Mm. Seeing a rainbow. But it's saying it's like a long distance away. So it's going to have to take, you're in one place and you need to embrace all the colours of the rainbow to get to the other side. These two cards are popping up quite a lot in my readings at the moment too. Once again, the universe is trying to get us to ground our light. We've seemed to have got caught up in the ones and zeros world a lot. Okay, modern life is very much orientated around the internet. I'm doing this on the internet. But what it's end up causing is none of us are really actually getting out and sitting on the ground anymore. And some people may say, I've never sat on the ground. Why would I want to do that? Okay. Or even just walk on the ground, touch the ground, be in a not walled environment feel wind all the rest of it could actually feel like it's attacking us because we're environments where there's no wind the, the environment the environment's the same temperature and everything and it's affecting our energy systems really badly mother nature needs us more than ever right now particularly being an earth sign she's yelling at us to come and join back in ground our energy back in, get out of the, the ones and zeros. So that's what we all need to do. We need to take a moment to get away from all the drama and get away from the ones and zeros and go out and even if you've just put your hands on the ground just for a second. Your feet, sit in meditation and look at the sunrise or set. Because if you're coming from a place which is actually ungrounded at the moment, you could be coming from a bit of a, a more of a negative place than you actually need to. And particularly if you're actually giving information for two people, sharing experiences, stuff like that. There's been a lot of, in, a lot of negative energy coming in. So as us light workers, it's now time to actually realise that we need to ground that negativity into the ground, get rid of it, do not engage in it anymore. Lift our vibration as high as we possibly can to act in love and light to the best of our knowledge and ability as humans. Because we're all not perfect. To lead by example. Because there seems to be a great awakening happening here. Massive 
massive awakening. But people are always also choosing sides. I see that in everything around me at the moment. People are choosing sides. So team, we need to get going. We need to be the lightness, the love, the inspiration that the world needs to see right now. And we need to do it for us. This is not a narcissistic act, if you're worried about that. It is raising the communal vibration of the planet by raising our own individual vibrations. The earth needs us more than ever. It needs us more than ever to do this. <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you, Mother Earth. Okay. And we will just get a little tiny bit more guidance for you here, Taurus, because I tell you what, we need to get up, we need to get up, out, and we need to get going. No focus. No focus on others, unless, of course, you need to. But focus all your healing, love, and light on yourself. Raise your own vibration. Let's see. Any more advice for the beautiful Taurus, please? The confusion. Once again, novel. This group comes out all the time together. And I shuffle this deck over and over and over again. So there's a real pervasive energy at the moment going on of keeping us in an absolute ungrounded confusionness, an emotional state of confusion. It's been done deliberately. Very dark. To keep us from actually doing our purpose by grounding our light into this, this planet. But even the smallest amount of light can illuminate the darkness. So it's time to get your inner torch. Maybe out from, where's the hermit? He's right back down here. There he is. Maybe out from this period of keeping it served within and start to say, right, okay. I see you, darkness. I see what you're trying to do. I see what you're trying to do to us. Confuse us. Keep us in dark. Keep us fighting. Keep us stuck. Hmm? Once you see it, it can no longer affect you. Look how pissed off. This individual looks just like, what, you see me? Yeah, I see you. I see what you're up to. Your words just are meant to hurt. No, I'm not dealing with that anymore. I'm not dealing with that. It just kept me in a state of confusion and darkness. Whether it's a part of family, friends, a partner. You know, look, I don't know, look at her mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, the look of contempt. Okay, that's why it's really important to... Act with love and light, but also act with care. Narcissistic personalities see this beautiful innocence and just go, hell yeah. Victim, your energy's mine. Look at her. Your energy's mine. It's vampire. It's like a vampire. It's probably where they got the idea of a vampire from. Beautiful love, light, projecting energy. 
innocent Taurus here. <coughs> Excuse me. It affected my throat straight up. And they're seeing Jesus coming in just drained. Okay, a bit sad and vulnerable. It's like, what happened? I thought everybody was the same as me. They say, and she's gone, no, I'm just here to take from you. I'm going to take everything you have and leave you. High and dry. Move on to the next. <clears throat> yes, so narcissistic personalities. What are we... Any more advice? Turning your back on that sort of evil energy too. It just doesn't give it anything to feed off anymore. Hmm. You have to be smart. Because you're dealing with very calculating individuals. <laughs> I was just looking at this, just thinking, look at the way she's looking over, particularly at this one. Like, oh, I see you now. And I'm bringing balance and beauty and harmony into my world. But I'm going to keep an eye on you. Now, whether it's a part of your own personality, person in your environment, the evilness that surrounds you, what you see on the internet, the, the news, man. Don't watch the news. Oh, there's no good news. Well, they don't show us any good news. They show us all the bad news to keep us scared and vulnerable. So keep an eye on this darkness when you're creating this beautiful new world for yourself. Keep a side eye on it. It's always there. It will never go away. In this world of duality, dark and light, there's darkness, there's light. So it's now time to realise that we see what's been affecting us for the last five, five years and basically start to act with extreme care. Keep ourselves still protected, but also surrounded with all the beautifulness. But remember that energy like this loves to prey on energy like this. Loves, just loves it. It likes to keep things in confusion and be in control. Empathetic energy sympathizes, gets drawn into this. We see it now. It's like I see you. Mm, I see the devil within you, which also lets me see the devil within me. It's in within all of us. It's good and bad within all of us. So this has been a big life lesson for us. Recognising this within ourselves and around us in the greater environment, online, mass hysterias, okay? So armour up. Make sure you're extremely grateful for everything you do every single day and everything around you. Absolutely every single day ground your energy. world desperately needs you. The earth desperately needs us to ground our energy. She wants to heal us. She is our mother. Without her, we, will, we wouldn't even be alive. We must love her. Make sure you open your intuition, but also make sure that you realise there is darkness out there. There is also light. The more we bring our light into this world, even if it's just a tiny, small amount, you can see the light coming out here. 
it can illuminate the darkness and make things not seem so bad, okay? Our block is that love is unconditional. It's really important to give that unconditional love to ourselves first and foremost, okay? Watch out for what we've learnt. It's time to transmute that energy to make it for our own manifestation, that we are incredibly capable of manifesting whatever we darn well like into this world. So make sure that your thoughts are as positive as they possibly can because if you start to end up in that negative spiral, it will block your ability to manifest your good in your life. The sun wants to shine down on you. It's Taurus time. The sun is shining on us, illuminating us. Now it's time to get our mojo back. Remember what it was like and how we felt five years ago. So that was a whirlwind of, of learning what the darkness and evil and, and how the world works this last five years. I see you. I see you, devil. I see you, evil. And you can get at my back because I'm now in control. Okay, taking the reins, Taurus, taking the reins. I absolutely love it. All right, so I really, really hope that helped. And I'm doing um, private readings too. If you'd like to send me an email at whiteskieswisdom.com. Uh, sorry, uh, at gmail.com. And... Um, we can flesh out your own private reading for you if that's your thing. But I'd just like to say thank you so much, Taurus. I really do love you all. And bye for now.